had fun going through the league and showing them that you could play, right? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. I, uh, I had a lot of fun. You know, I, uh, I took a slight downfall with my injury, but came back and was able to uh, able to help my team and contribute to my team any way possible. How much, how much was it, how much, how important was it that you guys got that winning feeling at the end and got into the conference tournament and made a little run? How much did that, like, stoke you for this year? It, it's good because, uh, you know, we, uh, we look back on that and see the mistakes and see the positives and we look at, okay, and what can we do to capitalize that? And it carries over into this year to now we got a younger team, but it would be more fun. It would be, you know, we uh, try to capitalize on the 20 wins and try to extend that to 25, 26. You talk a little bit about uh, you lost a lot of seniors last year. So now you have to step up and be one of the leaders of this team. You ready for that? Yes, sir. I'm ready to take on that role. Um, uh, I play behind a great guy in DJ White, who plays Oklahoma City Thunder, and watching his watching his his ways that he went about his games and his practice and, and what he went about himself, I can now lead these young guys into doing the same thing. And, and talk a little bit about some of the guys you have. Uh, uh, though you guys are young, you guys are a bunch of juniors. You, should, you guys know what to do, right? Yeah, oh yeah, we have great talent. I mean, you got the returning sco uh, leading scorer in Chase Simon. You got a great point guard in Donovan returning who can help us out. You have uh, the McDonald's All-American coach's son, Ray McCallum. And you have Jason Calise, who, uh, who set out last year, who's going to help us from the yard. You have LaMarcus Lowe, who's a, a defensive presence. You have Nick Mineroff, who's a transfer. I mean, the guy plays above the rim. I mean, it's 40 inches and above. So he plays above the rim, which is a guy we needed last year, but we have this year. You have a guy like Evan Brunsma, who comes in, and that's going to be our garbage truck guy. That's going to be our cleanup guy. He's a hustle guy. I love his attitude. He brings it every day. And you know what to expect from that guy. you got guys like Connor Clark who's going to come off the bench and help us. You have a uh, transfer in uh, Chris Blake who just he can just create, and he can, and he can create matchup problems for anybody on the floor. So overall, I really believe that we have a great team. And, 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 and with that greatness comes, you got to make that run on Butler. It's time to dethrone them. That's the way that you all should be thinking, I would think, that it's time to dethrone Butler and, and crown a new king and, and, and to build something here that's going to last. And, and that's got to be important. To yes, it, it, and, that's, and I know we get tired of hearing about it every day in practice. Butler, 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 Butler. And I tell the guys, take it one day at a time. I said, uh, we have an opportunity to scare Butler by beating New Mexico, and let's try to beat Syracuse. I mean, our schedule opened up. We opened up against some tough, tough teams. So let's scare Butler. And uh, let's, let's not ask for respect. Let's take our respect. But, I mean, Butler is a great team. They're a good team. And um, me as a person, as a player, I, I personally, I respect that program. And, and all their accomplishments. But like you said, I think it is time for a new crown. I think it's time for, to put Detroit back on the map where they were when John Long and Terry Tyler, Dave DeBush, and all them, Spencer Hay, when all them guys were here. You know, I think it's time for us to put Detroit back on the map.